Hello friends and welcome to another video tutorial for assembly language. So here we will discuss about the stack. How does stack work? How how the things are pushed onto stack? How can we access them? It's going to be a long tutorial actually. I don't know whether it, I can cover it in 15 minutes or not. Otherwise we'll have to make another video also. So basically got nothing in data, nothing in BS stack section. Stack is already actually stack is something which is already having a huge amount of memory. If we want to define anything onto stack, we can do it over here. Otherwise, just leave it like that. We are having multiple no operations so that we we can actually let the GDP work properly. Otherwise, you just uh, try one thing: remove all these no operations and uh, just try to load the program in GDP. Whatever error you get you will get to know what the kind of errors gdb gives when we are loading when we are making some breakpoint at num line number 10 or 11 or somewhere closer to the new lines closer to the starting lines actually okay so first of all what we are doing actually is we are this is for pushing there are two kinds of uh, commands related to memory to related to stack one is push and one is pop okay so pushing some value it sends this value and stores it onto the some part of stack okay so first we are pushing 7 numeric value 7 and getting it stored onto the stack and the next instruction we are storing value number 8 numeric value number 8 storing it to storing it to stack then at the third point we are storing number 77 onto stack okay so and at the fourth instruction we are doing nothing just we are saving our stack position to a register called ebp pointer base pointer basically ebp holds the value whatever memory address our stack points to because stack keeps stack keeps changing during the program execution so it's necessary if you want to extract something by using stack memory addresses references then it is must to save the value of stack onto ebp register okay so at last we have got just print uh, sorry just exit routine exits the program so what should we do first um let me just so first let's have a look at how does stack actually look okay so here's a very simple block diagram kind of thing of how does the stack look so stack actually grows from top to down it is just like uh, i'll give you an example like you go to submit some forms to any school or any college or somewhere what does the person sitting at the desk do he will just keep on putting a stack of papers or applications one on top of other one 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 okay so what he does is that last application which comes he just lifts all of it up and just insert the last last application over here so basically so that he knows that the first application so first application or the first paper what came in the initially when he just opened his office it's kept on the top of the bunch and the last application which came he inserts it at the bottom and it keeps doing same just keeps inserting all the new applications at the bottom so that is actually how stack grows stack grows from top to bottom so the newer things or the newer values newer variables whatever we push in onto stack these are getting stored on the bottom side of the stack basically this is called the top of the stack okay because the fresh values are stored over here and how the values are removed from the stack taken out the popped from the stack are from the same fashion first the value which came at the last it is removed first then the second one then the third one okay 
so what we are doing in this program is first we are pushing the value 7 onto stack so the value 7 gets stored over here fine then value 8 then value 77 so same way value 7 7 8 and 77 are stored onto the stack correct so what we do we'll see all these things in uh, execution let us okay leave it assemble it create an object file then link it and create a binary file by use named stack so we'll just run it and we'll query for the return status it is 7 correct the 7 value i had given in the program so now let's load it to gdb correct so where we are to keep our breakpoint mm. fine the list of the program is over here so we'll keep our breakpoint over line number 17 correct so break at 17 now run the program step over it now the first instruction which we come across is pushing the value 7 onto the stack so let's first find out what is our stack stack is pointing at i won't i won't be using this full address so basically last four digits we'll be using f4c0 f4c0 is the current position where stack is pointing right now okay f4c0 the starting of the stack before saving seven value to the stack this is the stack pointer f470 correct so we step and we we execute this instruction we push the value 7 onto stack now let's see where actually our stack is pointing to Now stack has changed from 4C0 to 4BC. So what is this happening actually? Like I told you, the stack grows from top to bottom. So somewhere over here you will find memory address 0, 0, 0, 0. That, don't, that doesn't actually like happen actually. So the next value the stack pointer is pointing to is 4BC. The starting of this value 7. Okay. So now comes the value pushing the value 8 and pushing the 77 value. So basically we just cut short and after pushing the value 77 what is the value of stack? It is 4B4. Let's see in the diagram 4B4. Okay. This is the last portion of the stack. So basically what is happening? From 4C0, it grows downwards in memory. You count 4 bytes from 4C0 downwards. It is F, E, D, and C. The fourth byte it is showing as the value of this the sorry this item in the stack. Then further 4 bytes, 8 value. Further 4 bytes, value 77. So this is the current position of stack actually right now. What ahead? Now we come across the instruction moving our stack pointer to our base pointer. Why do we do this? Frequently it is done in uh, assembly because see now another instruction you execute. Maybe you call some function. So function will be having some variables of course. So those variables also will get stored onto stack. So, what basically we do, we save the stack pointer to our EBP register. 
so let's do it saving our bpp to we okay so now let's have a look at stack pointer it is 4b4 look right now 4b4 has been saved to our abp pointer so if you query abp pointer abp pointer is now having a memory address value of f4b4 correct so basically our stack pointer has been saved to our abp register now you can uh, do give any instructions any instructions which can keep changing the stack pointer down on the memory or higher on the mem memory upper position of the stack or you can call some function calling some function executing it and uh, it doesn't it doesn't actually matter because you have already stored the stack value onto our ebp register so based on the value of ebp you can call all these items one by one you can get these items out from the stack by referencing to ebp okay so this actually should get you going maybe this this much uh, data is sufficient so let's move on to another program which is okay it is the same program just the difference i have made is i have added a line an instruction push l percentage ebp so what it is doing is actually we are pushing the value of our ebp register also onto the stack so that the previous value of our ebp register gets stored onto the stack so that we don't lose whatever value ebp was right now maybe ebp was being used in this present program somewhere here maybe since we are not using so it doesn't matter to us but in some other programs <coughs> ebp ebp would be used to so store some data in our main program also but and if we straight away store stack pointer to ebp we lose that data we lose the ref reference to that data so the processor cannot ex exactly come back to where from where it was sent to some other function and calling some other thing so first of all you have to store the value of our of your ebp before saving something something onto it so basically you load the value of memory address of reference of ebp on itself to stack so 77 8 sorry 7 8 77 and ebp value ebp memory add reference these all used uh, save to stack and then you send the stack value to your ebp register okay basically reference of ebp also is stored so you can now fill up the ebp address because you can uh, take the reference of this from this value you can always dig out what was the what was the value of ebp earlier okay and uh, next comes the print, print root exit routine so just quickly have a look and uh, let's actually i have already linked it and assembled it so not required to actually do the same things again and again sorry this is so it has successfully executed so now let me look at the time okay well the time is up right now so we'll look we'll look at this instruction and executing it through gdb and tracing the addresses in our next video so follow to the next video